Welcome back to another episode of Smoke Cask and Barrel. I am Daryl. I'm Derek. I'm Randy. And we're here. Uh, good morning, good night, good afternoon, whichever time it is going to be when you watch it. Um, pretty special episode. We're going to get right into it. Um, number one, Kentucky Derby weekend. Great race. That was a lot of fun to see. Uh, what y'all smoking on, man? This is going into the cigars. The EP Carrillo, inch by EP Carrillo. Uh, it's wrapped in an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper with uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican uh, filler, long fillers. Has a hint of spicy notes and a real creamy taste on the back of the palate. Uh, for a large ring gauge cigar, this is a this is a very good cigar. And for the price point, you're looking at about ten to eleven dollars. Okay. What you smoking on, Randy? Oliva V, Lancero size. I mean, we've done so many reviews on this, so I just know it's a very good cigar. Oh, it's very good. It's a very good cigar. So I think the Lancero size. I don't know what the Lanceros are costing right now. I think uh, about eight about, bucks. Uh, it depends. It actually up there. I think like ten to twelve. Is it 10? Yeah, yeah, ten to twelve. Like okay. okay. Ten to twelve. Probably on the twelve side. Probably yeah. more than anything with that. Um, Leva V. Big thing for me, Leva. Uh, I am smoking uh, a brother, our, our brother Austin, Austin Burrs. This is his particular line, the Tempest Fugit. Um, this is like a Toro size, six by fifty-two, uh, medium to full body. This is a San Andreas Brazilian wrapper. Criollo uh, binder and Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. Um, this is a, to me, I think it's a very complex cigar. Has a lot of flavor in it. Um, like I said, medium to full. And honestly, I think it kind of sits real nice in between that medium full range. It's not too strong, gonna blow you out. Um, these particular cigars from my brother is featured here at the Cosmo Night Social Lounge. And, only uh, here right now. Only so here. This is the only place you can actually purchase them unless you actually know him and purchase them through him so yeah shout out to austin shout out to austin man absolutely um fantastic cigar very well made uh like i said feature here at cosmo nights i think these are eight eight or nine bucks i think eight bucks um great cigar uh i'm finding myself going to them quite a bit here lately anyway so yeah, I, mean, I had really one in my hand here. but i put it down <laughs> needed something a little smaller today so actually with us smoking these cigars the cigars we're smoking are kind of towards the more medium probably more towards the full end of the uh, spectrum um and it's good because of what we're actually going to be tasting and pairing with and you're going to get our real pairings with this now as we're doing this uh we'll give our feedback and everything as far as how this appears with this um as you know we always shoot inside of cosmo nights shouts out to randy and everybody at cosmo Nights social lounge letting smoke cask and real be in here my brother um but you know, Cosmo Nights Social Lounge, you know, you, you hear us put up there, it was started as a place for people of color, black people. We were not allowed in all the other clubs. In Indianapolis, there's Columbia Club, Athletic Club, and going down a lot, a lot of social clubs. And at that time, in the 1940s, 50s, we were not allowed in those establishments. And so Cosmo Nights is birth. That's just the real quick boxed up version of it. Um, but, you know, one thing about this place, like I said, there's a lot of history. This place has seen a lot of black uh, celebrities, local icons, all the way down the line. Um, you know, the, still see a lot still of Still see black, a lot of, I was just saying. Especially say professionals. Yeah. And, uh, You're gonna bunch see of million movie. dollar deals been done in here. And they still get done here. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> The legacy continues to live on. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it does. And so... Um, in the midst of this, of course, you already know Randy is doing a great job. He's evolving, and, you know, with the times and everything. I think Craig here, Derek's been one of the longer people has been along for all of us anyway. I think that's been oh, affiliated, definitely. really connected with uh, Cosmo Nights and seeing a lot of its changes and evolution. So all that babbling to say this one thing. Big shouts out. We're gonna go ahead and recognize that now. Charles Community Spirits, AD, CJ, the entire team over there. Um, this is a big deal. Smoke Cask and Barrel is not a cigar club. We are a, <laughs> this is a business, uh, so to speak. Like I said, I just put a post up on our Facebook page. Think of us kind of like lifestyle specials, kind of purveyors with this lifestyle. Um, and I'm, I'm happy because these group, these brothers sitting with me, we've had a chance to do some amazing barrel picks from 21 going into 22. 
I ain't finna talk no more about what's coming on the horizon and what we got up the sleeve. But um, we've had the Buffalo Trace Adrian selection went crazy. Um, I think Charles, they may have had that for a weekend and it was gone. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was like a weekend. Absolutely. That was gone. And it's been a lot of blind tasting out there. You can go ahead and put that if you got any left. You know, you put that against, I'll tell you right now, it scored very high against a lot of the store picks that came around this area. I mean, it perf outperformed that a lot of them. All, all, all of the uh, Buffalo Trace yeah. barrel picks. So. Uh, he, so we got a chance to do that. And so in the midst of all of that, we had a chance to do a special one for Cosmo Knights. And, um, you know, we know there's some things with Bullet Bourbon and everything going on like that, but this is really a super dope thing. Cosmo Knights has never done a barrel pick, has it? There's never been a barrel pick for Cosmo Knights, no. has it? No, no, there has never been a barrel pick. And I think the interesting thing, Bullet has never done a barrel pick, has it? Or have they done only They've done few? barrel pick, they've done selections. They, it, it, I know it's limited, they don't, a lot of people don't do it. Right. Because we, we'll talk about that here in a second, but a lot of people don't do Bullet Bourbon picks. I, not that I know of, I know it's very hard, to, you know, it's been very sparingly, I was saying yeah. this area okay. for us, that they have had, we've seen Bullet Bourbon uh, picks. Um, and so, we had a chance to do one, and I'm honestly, we ain't gonna go to the grade. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> shit's fire. Okay, <laughs> it's so fire. like before we initially had this tasting, yeah. I was hesitant because it is bullet. It's not one of my favorite brands, but I mean, I do. It's a, it's an okay go-to drinker. You know what I mean? And let's so, talk about that yeah. a little bit because you know, Bullet Bourbon has always been kind of those ones. I, I, I look at it as like a tween, a tweener. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, exactly. Yeah, it is. A, in like between. A bird, you know, it's an everyday drinker. You know, it's nothing. Can't really say anything bad about it. No, nah, no. Nah. But it's not what we would consider a phenomenal pick. Or right, to go ahead, like an exclusive thing, and that's and they've got uh, the regular bourbon. They got the rye. Right. They had the ten year for a while. I still got a corner that left somewhere in my house. Um, and I think that's I've, I've seen they did the blender select, which is yeah, what we said we talked about select, the uh, yeah. yeah. Right that now, actually going was that. really good. It was very well. good. Yeah. Big shouts out. She sees an Ebony Major, um, first black. First black female master distiller um, that needs to be recognized with that. Um, in that situation, unfortunately, that they're going through right now, and, and that, that suit she's dealing with. But we, you know, we stand behind our, our black excellence, and I think that's super dope, especially being a black woman. Um, so they had the blender select, and they've, I think, I, I don't know if I'm missing some other ones, but that's kind of been like their offers that they've had. Of course, you can go with the distillates and stuff like that. So to this pick, we had a chance to pick it. Um, now, the picking experience, if you know, if you've never had a chance to do a barrel pick, of course, because a lot of the COVID things and like that, a lot of stuff changed. So you don't always get to go to the distillery. So they bring you that. Um, just the I, distillery came nice. Yes, the distillery came nice. <laughs> yeah. And to surmise it up, there's three barrels we picked from, and there's a base yeast that's at the base of the mat of, of, of the mash bill. And so I think there was a leather. I think there was a malt or a wheat mash, I think it was, or a couple leather mashes, and then there was a strawberry mash. Yes. And then there's three combinations of the mash bill as far as the rye content and the uh, corn content as to how it changes with the mash or whatever the case is. So you actually get to do a lot of experimentation with that when you get to taste and everything. So we settled on this particular one. Now the funny thing about this, I do not remember this being 104. I don't when either. We tasted it. I, I don't I, yeah, I don't remember it either. I so. thought they all baseline were at 90. 90. So, yeah. yeah. So when it actually came in, I seen 104. I was surprised. So. I was shocked too because I don't remember tasting it at that proof. Right. But um, we ended up selecting the strawberry mash, uh, the yeast. I mean, to be at the bottom of that, to be at that base of that mash bill. Um, and you know it's got good legs all that good stuff but it's amazing how much this bourbon is is different in this selection against you know regular bullet bourbon true um so honestly we put a review up on this we wanted to talk about this one because number one like i said again cosmo knights having a braille pick is historic and legendary stuff within itself um and for this to be I'll say the first one because we're going to do well, more. Well, let's just say it. It's the first one. Let's not tiptoe around it. <laughs> uh, African American cigar lounges and bars, nightclubs don't often get an opportunity to do a barrel pick. Right. 
which is so, a big thing with this industry so, period. So like that's that. a yeah. big thing. So for us to be one of the first in the city of Indianapolis yes. to do a borough pick, it is a it is a huge thing. So for us, we like to think that, you know, we kind of set the tone for the culture in, in our market area in terms of uh, spirits, cigars, things like that. So we're always out there trying to basically bring new things to the culture. And honestly, you know, Smoke Cast and Brothers itself I always felt like, it was, you know, it was birth because I didn't feel like there was a voice where there was black, you know, a black voice for real with this. Absolutely. And um, black people, you know, I know we're going we're gonna to black it a thousand times this episode, so you might as well get ready for it. Uh, <laughs> black people are large consumers in this in this world of, of spirits and, and cigars and things like that. Large so, consumer of just about everything. everything. So. <laughs> right. so, pick. Is here. This is the Cosmo Knights Bullet Bourbon. It's the single barrel. Uh, it's 104 proof. It's got the Knights tag on there. That's, that's that Cosmo Knights leather strap. Um, and it's the traditional packaging from Bullet Bourbon. When you do the picks, though, the label's black. They usually have a um, large orange block that signifies it being a single barrel. And this pick. Um, we did this pick early in the year with Charles. Community Spirits, again, shouts out to him for even letting us be a part of this, um, to do this. Um, we did this, I don't know, it's been a couple months ago, couple wasn't months, it? Yeah. A couple months we did it. And um, I'm gonna let them talk about their parents and everything, because honestly, for myself, just on this, the bourbon alone, I'm very pleased and overwhelmed with how this turned out. Yeah, Actually, it's, it's it tastes a little different today. It got a little more complex with that cigar. Okay. And I think it's only because I've been smoking light to medium cigars prior to this one so but i meant i love the nose period like oh, the aroma yeah. that comes out of the glass is is all like citrusy and yes. fruity so and it, it i don't know it just it doesn't wane on your tongue like it's still there it's still present you still get a slight slight hood towards the back of yeah. the end but i mean it's 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 a big strawberry say? it's strawberry yeah. cream on the nose yeah. to me yeah. with yeah. the citrus yeah, yeah. so when i Paired with the uh, inch by E.P. Carrillo, it brings out the creamy uh, flavor in the cigar, and it's a it's a great pairing with this particular cigar that I'm smoking today. Uh, I'm with Randy and Bledsoe. It's very heavy on the strawberry on the nose, and when you pair the two, it's uh, it's almost like having a strawberry shortcake. I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. But that, 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 that orange, the citrus is just there. We ain't finna give you the BS notes talking about a summer day out in the <laughs> lily, like whatever. Yeah. It's like tapioca. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah not, it's good. It's definitely got the big red fruits on the nose, the citrus. We're not going to tell you to run through the lily field. No, so. we're not going to do that, no. <laughs> <laughs> not unless you got a bottle in your hand. Right, right. right. you got to get your bottle of this. Slow yeah. motion. <laughs> um, like I said, it, and it, like I said, it's unique that we're actually smoking cigars on the fuller side of the spectrum. Um, Cause it does pair well. The 104 proof, I think, is a great proof. Doesn't drink for this. like one. Doesn't drink yeah. like one, but yeah. it's very got, like I said, a lot of complexity on the nose. And then when you taste it, your palate, from what you get from the front of the palate to the back of the palate, it's just a whole experience. Um, so the strawberry mash is actually get the strawberry mash, get the fruits. I get a little bit of the, uh, uh, get a little bit of the pepper and cedar. Well, I was gonna say a little, a little pepper, pepper, a little pepper, a little, little cinnamon little, here yeah, and there, but it's the traditional not, bourbon yeah. stuff. But it's. It's like slapping you with the uh, strawberry cream, though, mm -hmm. with the orange and, like I said, the citrus notes on this. Um, so, one thing special about this as well, as we're doing this, um, you need to get over to Community Spirits, okay? This is, because I'm dropping this right away. We're going to put this episode out right away. So, let you know now, you need to get the Community Spirits. So, you need to go grab your bottle of this. Make sure you're part of history. Listen, if you fool with Cosmo Nights and, and, you just fuck with good bourbon, like you need to, <laughs> you just need to go get this. You really do. Um, I know Community Spirits does not ship, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I don't think we're in a place where legally we can't do that. But so for those watching that may be in another space, if you ever come down, swing by Indy. Come or on, you may have some in. friends at Indy that can yeah, ship get it for you. Pick you up so, a bottle. Yeah. Have them pick you up a bottle. Uh, this price point is fifty nine ninety nine. Um, like I said, it's already an A. Hell, I picked it. So, <laughs> but no, it's 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 very good. It's very flavorful. Um, 
special episode with this because dun, 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 dun. the ship is landed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a thing going on right now with Community Spirits that the first 50 people who have went and got this bottle of particular bullet bourbon, this Cosmo Knights pick, you can get on the list and the first 50 will get a priority access to get the Elijah Craig Private Barrel Barrel Proof Smoke, smoke Cask and, and Barrel, barrel. Pick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's here. That's all I'm going to say about it. You might want to get over Community Spirits. Make sure you get your name on that list. Make sure you pick up pick up a couple bottles of these. Okay, this is a great, great, great drinker. Um, I got some. I, you know what the problem will be is I don't want to open it up because I'm trying to keep it, you know what I mean, just for right. archives like they had that one to be a part of something like this. I think it was super dope. Well, I said that about this bottle and look where it is. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to drink it anyway. So whatever. They're waiting on my bottle, Randy. <laughs> that's for another episode. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it caused me me out in front of me. <laughs> So we wanted to just get in real quick. So again, a, what do y'all think with this? When we talking about parents on this. Now we, we're smoking a full side. Does it, you think this do well with your mild to medium cigars? It oh, does absolutely. well. Yeah, it does absolutely. well. It did real well. But like I said, with the heavier body cigars, it brings out a little bit more in the. In the bourbon, so well, it also mellows out the cigar, true. Yeah. So, you know, when you, and that, and that's kind of what you want in a pairing that the spirit nor the stick overwhelms each other. You want them to complement, that's the mix of a, a great pairing. So, it kind of mellows out the cigar. You still get all the flavors of the cigar that you're looking for, but you also get all the flavors and everything that you get into uh, the bourbon. So, yeah, while we talking about cigars, big shouts out again. Prime 357 Cigars, our brother Dwayne Jerry got the humidor here at the Cosmo Night Social Club, doing a fantastic job up there, it has an amazing selection. Listen, let me tell y'all something, I say all the time, but I'll put this bar and this humidor up against anybody in the city, argue with your mama, I'm telling you that now, <laughs> we, it's over, it's happening over here, for real. It's, 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 continuing it's, 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 to, continue to do research, to do research. continuing yeah. to bring in new product weekly, uh, so we're not just resting on our laurels as we approach the spirits industry we approach the cigar industry the same way to bring you new and exciting product so, so we got an a plus bourbon cosmo nice first pick for cosmo nights big shot i mean come on man that's yeah. big cosmo nights first one be a part of history be a part of history you want to get this get it on your bar share it you can tell the story about that and then come on down to cosmo nights and get some more of this history and enjoy the evolution of this. We already told you, you got the great cigars. Before we close out, save the date, August 11th through the 14th. Second, Smoke Cask and Barrel Cigar Whiskey Weekend is gonna be a time. Just trust me, already got some amazing stuff up our sleeve. We over here cooking, it's gonna be a good, good time. For all those that wanna collaborate and participate, we will have an avenue for you to be able to do that courtesy of being a sponsor or a vendor all right august 11th through the 14th <laughs> smoke cask and barrel cigar whiskey weekend we got i mean some big surprises i'm geeked about this one it's gonna be four days brothers we ready bring, 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 bring your best liver <laughs> bring your best liver <laughs> bring your best set of lungs and come in and experience you know how it was last year when we kicked it off this is only going to get bigger and better we got some really great surprises for you. I'm excited. So make sure you connect with Smoke Cast and Barrel on Facebook, on Instagram. Make sure you connect with Community Spirits on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you connect with Prime 357 Cigars on Facebook and Instagram. And connect with us and get this information because that's where we're going to have it at. We'll have websites coming to you later. Um, that being said, brothers, this has been another one. Yes. Okay. We out. Charles. We out. Dwayne. We out. Peace.